Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to present to you about X-ray productions. A fascinating energy created man-made, invisible to the human eye. However, the outcome produces images that allows us to be able to diagnose the different body parts. There are two ways to produce X-rays, Bramstrong and characteristic interaction. The requirements in order to produce X-rays are sources of electron produced by the filament, which is made of tungsten with a high atomic number of 74, a high melting point, and a high heat conductibility. Vacuum, in order to free particles inside the X-ray tube, high potential differences to move electrons efficiently from the cathode to the anode and high-speed electrons. The first interaction that happens the most is Bremsstrahlung. Bremsstrahlung is German. Brems meaning stop, slow down, or breaking. Strahlung meaning radiation. Radiation is produced by breaking down electron energy. An electron is produced by the filament that goes near the nuclear force field where it breaks down and deviates. When the electron breaks, the X-ray photon immediately exits the nuclear force field because the nucleus is positive and the incoming electrons are negative, creating an electrostatic force. To obtain energy of the X-ray photon, it will be by finding the difference between the entering kinetic energy of electrons minus the exiting kinetic energy of the same electron. The energy on the X-ray photon depends on how close the incoming electron hits the nucleus. For example, if A9 keV enters the nucleus and breaks down and 12 keV exits, in order to find the energy you will have to subtract 89 by 12 keV, which gives you 77 keV of X-ray photons. The second interaction is characteristic. In this interaction, binding energy is used in order to find the required energy in order to remove electrons from the inner shell of the atom. In order for the interaction to happen, the incoming electron must be greater than 69.5 keV to be able to eject the electrons. The way how this interaction works is by the filament knocking down an electron from the inner shell which is the K shell that has 69.5 keV. The incoming electron strikes an inner shell causing both electrons to exit. Once the electrons exit, the electrons start to jump to a higher state. To obtain the energy of the X-ray photon, you will find it by finding the difference between the binding energies of the tungsten shell, which is the K-shell. For example, since the K-shell is 69.5 keV, you will subtract that by the L-shell, which is 12.5 keV, giving you 57.5 keV. Here are the references I used for my presentation. In conclusion, in order for an X-ray photon to be produced, two interactions must occur, Bramstrahlung and characteristic. As the Bramstrahlung breaks down the incoming electron, characteristic applies binding energy in order to remove electrons from the inner shell of the atom. That concludes my presentation on X-ray production. Thank you for watching.